Welcome to another game in our burgeoning Tiny Leader series featuring Josh once again playing his Zozu the Punisher deck and myself playing my Athreos God of Passage deck. Not sure how Passage is so different from the dead that you need a whole new god for it, but whatever. Also for this game we are once again using vanguards. Ooh. Josh's vanguard this time is Tawn Garth giving all his creatures haste. Pretty good for a goblin deck and myself Maraxis who makes all my creatures slightly bigger. Very slightly. Josh and I each mulligan about four times so we restart but then mulligan again anyway. Josh's life total this game is 32 and mine is 27. Josh's opening hand. My opening hand. Game 1, Josh and I both play lands for a couple of turns until Josh casts a hasty Zozu the Punisher and attacks me, putting me to 25. I cast Innocent Blood on my turn, which makes Josh sack his commander and me nothing. Josh then casts Hellraiser Goblin, which has double haste, and attacks. Still short on mana, producing lands on my turn, I play Maze of Ith. Josh casts Goblin War Drums and attacks into my maze. Still short on my third mana, which is everything in this format, I cast Tide Hollow Sculler. Josh reveals two removal spells, so I just take one of them. Josh starts his turn by Flame Slashing Sculler for his Burst the Lightning back and passes the turn. I evoke Wisp Mare and shoot the War Drums. Josh casts Goblin Rabble Master, makes a Goblin, and attacks with Goblins. I untap and prevent damage from the Rabble Master using my Maze of Ith and take 3 damage from unblocked Goblins. I break Terramorphic Expense at Josh's instep to get a Swamp. I cast Bone Shredder to shred the bones of Rabble Master. Josh casts Mog Flunkies and attacks with his creatures. I block the token with Bone Shredder and maze the Flunkies. Josh casts Brute Force to save the life of his token. I take 2 damage. On my turn, I cast Athreos, God of Passage. Josh again attacks and I again maze the Flunkies. I play my 4th mana and a 2nd white source on my next turn and cast a Caked Gatekeeper of Malakir, targeting Josh, who sacks a token. Josh then bursts Lightning's the Vampire, sending it to my graveyard. I trigger Athreos' ability and Josh pays 3 life to stop it from going back to heaven. Josh recasts his commander on his turn and attacks for 4. I cast Fiend Hunter and Exile Mog Flunkies. I also cast Phyrexian Reclamation. Josh casts Red Sun Zenith and exiles the Fiend Hunter, returning the hasty flunkies to play. Josh then attacks for another 4. I cast Core Sanctifiers. Josh casts Goblin Sharpshooter and attacks with his other creatures. I block Zozu with the Core and Josh shoots it with the Sharpshooter. And the Hellraiser deals me 2 damage. Sharpshooter deals me another damage when the Sanctifiers die and then Goblin Grenades me, sending us to Game 2. I start Game 2 simply enough by playing a planes. Josh lights a firecracker up this game by playing a mountain, exiling Simeon Spirit Guide, casting a Paretic Ritual for even more mana, and then cast a turn 1 Goblin Rabble Master, which I swords to Plowshares before he goes to combat. He gains 2 life. Turn 2, Josh casts Mog War Marshal and attacks me for 2, putting me to 25 life. I cast Athreos on my next turn. Josh doesn't pay the Echo Cost on his turn and gets another Gabo. Josh casts his commander and attacks me for 4, putting me to 21. I play a land on my turn, going to 19, and cast Fiend Hunter on Josh's turn which he puts under Fiend Hunter, and then casts Mother of Runes. Josh bursts Lightning's Mother of Goons and loses 3 life from Athreos. I cast Inquisition of Kozilek, getting the last card out of Josh's hand. 
I then cast Sword of Fire and Ice. Josh flame slashes Fiend Hunter, losing 3 life and gets back Zozu. Josh then attacks for 4, putting me to 15. I cast Crypt Rats. Josh attacks. I put the rats in front of Zozu and then feed the rats 1 black mana, dealing everything 1 damage and killing Josh's tokens along with my rats. Josh then casts Goblin Matron and gets Spike Shot Elder and casts it. Still not drawing much needed mana, I cast Banisher Priest but can't equip it with the sword either. The Priest butchers Spike Shot Elder. Josh plays Teetering Peaks, boosting Goblin Matron. Josh attacks with two goblins. I block Zozu with Banisher Priest, hoping to draw land next turn. I take 3 damage from the unblocked matron. Spike Shot Elder returns to play and Josh loses 3 life from Athreos. I still don't draw land, but do draw something small enough to cast and equip with the sword in Gatekeeper of Malakir. Josh shields me 1 damage at the end of my turn. Josh casts Hordling Outburst, making 3 goblins, and attacks me for 5. I block the elder and take 4 damage from unblocked goblins. I attack Josh with my suited up vampire, dealing Josh 5 damage and dealing 2 damage to a goblin with a sword effect. I also draw a card. Josh casts Goblin Bushwhacker with Kicker and attacks for 8. I condemn the Bushwhacker and go for the throat, one of the horde tokens. I take 4 damage. I attack Josh for another 5 with the vampire, dealing 2 damage to another token and drawing a card. I cast Bone Shredder, shredding the last token's bones. Josh passes the turn. I let my Bone Shredder die during my upkeep and trigger Athreos. Josh chooses to lose 3 life. I attack Josh for 7 and draw a card, still not drawing land. I cast Wall of Omens, draw a card, find my 5th mana, and then cast a 2nd blocker should it be necessary with Wisp Mare. And it's a good thing I did draw land because Josh totally had two hasty goblins in hand. But with no way to get through to me, we go to game three. Game three, which is very short, starts with Josh attacking for one with Mog Fanatic. I neglect to cast Inquisition of Kozilek turn one, not wanting to take two damage from Godless Shrine, which means my demise on turn two when Josh casts Pyretic Ritual into Goblin Rabblemaster making a goblin and attacking with it, dealing me 6 damage. I cast Eye of K on turn 2, getting Lightning Bolt out of Josh's hand, and also play Maze of Ith, which stops Rival Master, but not token production. Josh casts Mog Flunkies, makes a gobbo, and attacks. I maze the Rival Master and take 6 damage from other goblins. I cast Tide Hollow Sculler, not getting any cards, and pass. Josh casts his commander and attacks for 8 damage, plus 1 more when he sacks Smog Fnatic. I take 2 damage from Zozu when I play a land on my turn, and cast Banisher Priest to exile Rabble Master. Josh casts another goblin, which is enough to finish me off. There you have it. Some vanguards are better than others. What are your guys' thoughts on vanguard? Do you play it? And if so, who are your favorites? Let me know in the comments and thanks for watching.